Alright, what's up guys? I'm going to teach you how to mod PlayStation trophies with Brute Force. Now, apparently there are um, some people who are confused on this. I had a modder who messaged me asking if I could do it for him, even though he had a jailbroken console. And I was already going to make this tutorial because I'm starting up a trophy service. Modding the trophies is not hard, it's just... It takes a lot of time, it's very time consuming, but super super easy. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, you want to go ahead and uh, open Brute Force and load your trophy folders into it. As you can see right here, I have my uh, 2000 plus trophy folders loaded into Brute Force. And I've already synced the first 100. I stopped at 100. I got lazy, I didn't feel like doing it, and I was gonna do a tutorial on it. So after you have them all loaded into Brute Force, what you're gonna do is you're going to get a game save from your PS3. Make sure it's your own game save, not a game save that you downloaded. Um, you can put a USB into your PS3 and get the game save from it, or you can use the FTP server, like FileZilla, that's what I use because I'm lazy, and I don't feel like unplugging and plugging in a USB back and forth. So go ahead and connect FileZilla to your PS3, and you're going to go to DevHDD0, home and whatever user that you have um my user is number five which is 192 and you can tell what it is on your ps3 if you go all the way to the left on the users you count down one two three four five and there's my user right there so i'm gonna go ahead and go into my user and then i'm gonna go into save data and i'm gonna get my mw3 save which is right here. You don't have to download the whole save. All you need is the param.sfo. And here it is right here. This is the param.sfo. So save it somewhere on your computer. I have it on my desktop and I already have it loaded in brute force. Now once you have it on your computer, you're going to load it into brute force and already have it loaded in right here, right where profile is. You're going to click profile and then go to wherever you saved it on the computer. I have it on my desktop and this is the param.sfo right here ignore the copy that's a copy of a different param.sfo but regular param.sfo you're going to open it and you can give it a name i named it chas mods because that's the account i'm syncing it to and i already uh synced 100 folders like i already told you all right since i already synced these 100 folders i'm going to start with folder number 101 which is this one 442 and i usually sync 50 at a time because if you try to load too many folders on the PS3, uh, the PlayStation won't read them and it won't sync them. So I do 50 at a time. So I started with 442 and I'm just going to highlight 50 real quick and see where it stops me. And right here. So 442 to 527 is 50 folders. So I have 442 highlighted and I'm gonna scroll down to 527 and I'm going to hold shift and then click it now it's probably gonna freeze up right here and that's cuz it's trying to highlight all the files that you selected it's just gonna take a minute or two alright now once your folders are highlighted as you can see you're gonna come down to where it says update account ID and you're gonna click that and then you're gonna click update account ID and copy params says do you want to update the param.sfo for the 50 selected saves with the param.sfo that you just added and you're going to click yes and this is where it's going to resign all these trophy folders with your id so once it's done we'll be able to sync them to our playstation account also i should have mentioned this earlier but the id that you put with the param.sfo if it does not start with a number you can't sync the trophies. It's not going to let you. You're going to get an error and you can't sync the trophies. So this ID has to start with a number. If it doesn't start with a number, you can't sync them. Now once the highlighted folders are resigned with your ID, um, you can go ahead and connect your FileZilla or what other FTP server you use. Go ahead and connect it to your PS3. And then you're going to go to your trophies. So dev hdd0, home, whatever user, trophy. Now you can just ignore all these, um, these are trophies already synced, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the corrupted ones. This is what your trophy folder should look like, you're going to have Tropsys, and then you're going to have the trophy folders of the games that you play regularly. So you're going to keep Tropsys, but you're going to delete all the other trophy folders that you have. So go ahead and delete those. So now you want to go to the folders where you have your trophy folders at, 
So this is where I have my trophy folders, you know, the 50 saves or whatever. So we're going to refresh it. That way it has our ID now. So uh, just click the first folder that you had highlighted and then click refresh maybe like two times, one time, doesn't matter. And now you're going to highlight those 50 folders again. Too much, way too much. And now I have the 50 folders highlighted and you're going to drag it in to the trophy folder that you just deleted those few from. So drag all these 50 over to your trophy folder and just let that transfer. All right. Now, once all your trophy folders are transferred, you're going to turn off your PS3. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn off my PS3 right now. Once the PS3 is off, you're going to put it into recovery mode. So while it's off, you're going to hold down the power button until it turns on and then completely turns back off so just hold down the power button until it turns on turns back off once it turns back off you're going to hold down the button again until you hear two beeps once you hear the two beeps just let go of it and your ps3 will turn on in recovery mode now once your ps3 is in recovery mode just connect your charging cord to your ps3 controller and turn it on and scroll down to rebuild database and then click yes. This is going to refresh your PS3 basically that way the trophy folders will show and you can actually sync them. So just wait till this is all done. Now once your PS3 starts back up the resolution settings have probably been reset so just go to your display settings and then change it back to whatever you had. Once you have your resolution settings changed uh, while you're offline go to your uh, trophy collection and you can see all these um, folders here now of all these games now um not all of them might be 100% but they'll still sync like as 100% you know platinum and everything all trophies will be unlocked so just ignore the 0% and just go ahead set your console ID and then sign in and now once you're signed in you can start syncing trophies and as you can see my trophy level is 22 I have 61 Platinums I looked at on the PlayStation app and to sync your trophies all you have to do is click your profile so just click on your profile and you're supposed to get an error and the error is supposed to end in D55 that means a Platinum has synced to your account every D55 error is one Platinum sync so eventually you'll stop getting the errors and they won't sync anymore and you can just cancel this little progression bar right here and then delete the folders and the corrupted folders off your PS3, resign more, put it back on your PS3, start syncing again, go all the way to 100, however many Platinums you want and that's basically it. It's super easy. It's just time consuming. That's all. It's super easy. So I'm just going to leave this. Um, time lapse right here towards the end of the video so you can see what my trophy level is at the end of the video so i hope you guys enjoyed peace out